Hope you like the first Red Room, because it's the same fucking movie. The concept for Red Room 2 is the exact same as the first one. We are introduced to characters who are going to play the King's Game, which is a game where the participants pick up a card and whoever has the King's card gives orders to random numbers and then the numbers associated with the players will do these orders. These orders can be really anything from sexual to violent to just absurd. <laughs> The main difference between this one and the first one are of course the participants. We have the always mad divorce man, the religious nuts who wants to become a martyr for her religion, and we later discover that she's pregnant. Now let's just say she starts off the film as pro-life, but gets a hand and becomes pro-choice. The third participant is of course the mysterious anime villain who doesn't want to say why he's doing this, but it's probably to help out his mom who got AIDS from a toilet bowl on her way to California in 1974. Now I won't tell you the real reason, but let's just say I'm pretty fucking close. And the fourth player accidentally dies and he is replaced by this woman who apparently won this game three times. Now I'm gonna spoil it right now, cause uh, they give out very non-subtle clues throughout the entire film. She's a robot. <sighs> Why didn't I just like, review normal films like clickbait Halloween kills and shit. Why? Why would... Why? 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 And for that inconvenience, the Yakuza offers them double the prize money, so it's 20 million yens instead of 10 million yens. And that pretty much covers the difference between the first and the second one. The other difference is the length. This film is an hour and 24 minutes, which in the case of Daisuke Yamanuchi, it's like his banner. It's an epic. It's long. And the only thing he really added was more character development. Which is a problem when all your characters are pieces of shit that you don't care about and you just want to see them die. The only redeeming character is the anime villain mysterious type, which his character doesn't really come into play until the ending of the film. My other main issue of the film is that it doesn't contain Daisuke Yamanuchi's usual comedy. I don't know if I just wasn't feeling that great when I watched it because I felt pretty good, but I this lacked the comedy that I'm used to with Daisuke Yamanuchi's films. When I first reviewed Red Room, I made a video about was it disturbing, because I was sold the film as a fucked up disturbing film, which it wasn't. It was actually a pretty funny film, and Daisuke Yamanuchi's style has actually grown on me since then. I've seen more of his films, and I enjoy the man's work. And it has this flaw, and it's not the lack of comedy, it's the tonal shifts between the film. It tries to be serious at times, but then it reveals that the fourth character is a fucking cyborg that bleeds green. And I should revisit the first one, but all I can tell you is that this one was fairly enjoyable. The orders from the characters are silly, graphic, and sexual in nature, and I think there was more than in the first one, obviously due to the length, and they were all enjoyable. The scene of the toothbrush up the nose reminded me of my first COVID test, so that was pretty awesome. And there's a scene where the divorce man orders number two to rape three, but three is the guy. So he's like, oh, so it's gonna be reverse rape. And I was just thinking to myself, there's no such thing as reverse rape, dude. That's just rape. And the climax, spoiler alert, leads to a battle between all the contestants and it's pretty good. And then there's another issue. The ending tries to be serious and it's way too fucking long. It lasts like 10 minutes. The dialogue is very strange. The robot's like, I'm jealous of people bleeding red. And I'm just watching this and thinking to myself, they're trying to be serious, but she has like a dollar store eye special effects with like a m little motherboard. <laughs> and it looks ridiculous, but they try to make it up to be serious. 
If you enjoyed the first Red Room, it's hard not to recommend this one, because it's the same goddamn fucking movie. But I did really enjoy this one, and I should revisit the first one. So anyways, have a good one, see you guys later.